That boy's thick. Oh, hey. So I've been gone for about a week. I didn't feel good. Then it was my birthday. But I'm back, baby. So, I've been looking for some new stuff to watch on YouTube. I'm up to date on all my favorite YouTubers videos. Nobody has cable anymore. Daddy needs something to watch. So I came across this channel on YouTube called Jubilee. And I love it. They do this weird social issue stuff. It's really hard to explain. Anyway, they do this show called Odd Man Out. And it's amazing. So, today, I want to go over one of my favorite episodes so far with you guys. So welcome to episode one of the Jubilee Chronicles. Dwight, roll it. Stop screwing around. So smash like if you enjoy the video and want to watch more Jubilee videos with your boy. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'd fucking love to have you on the Thick Squad. Squad! So let's get right into it. So the show is really weird. <laughs> it's it's like all modern 20 year olds, so of course it's fucking weird. Anyways, I wanna talk about one of my favorite episodes so far. It's called Six Non-Virgins and One Virgin. And don't worry, it's not me. I'm not a virgin. I've sexed before. Right. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at this masterpiece produced by Jubilee, play along with me, and let's see if we can spot a virgin when we see one. So, let's meet our contestants, shall we? Strap in. We brought together seven non-virgins. I am not a virgin. 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 One is a liar. If the group discovers who the liar is, they'll split a cash prize. If the liar survives, he or she wins the entire prize. Okay. I'm ready. Focus. We're not here to fuck around. Okay, guys. I say we just start asking questions and everyone answers. Yeah, I agree. Name? Does anyone have a name for their genitalia? My initial thought was Sean. He seemed too confident, too talkative. What do you call yours? Harris. Harris? Did this man say Harris? That has to be the least cool dick name I've ever heard. When did everyone lose their virginity? Age. That's a good one. That's a good one. 19. 12. Hold on. D Dwight, did he say 12? Well, that's terrifying, and I don't believe it for a second. 12? Yeah, it's my, it was on MySpace. What? It was on my screen. We don't have time for the fuck. We don't have time okay, for the story. Okay. Well, if the game was to identify the douche in the room, this would be incredibly easy. When was the last time you guys had sex? Two days ago. Oh, okay. Three days. Last night. Last night. <laughs> no big deal. I did sex last night, so. Boy, shut up. It's been three weeks. We got nowhere. You said April? We've covered okay. no ground. What about you? Wait, wait, no, you didn't answer the question, wait. I said recently. Recently? Recently. Okay, so, first glance, the guy in the unicorn shirt is suspect number one. He has a cartoon unicorn dabbing on his t-shirt, so, I mean, need I say more? But I think Jubilee planted him. They want us to think it's him. He's a Trojan horse. I see what you're doing, Jubilee. I'm not falling for it, and I don't appreciate you insulting my intelligence. Natasia? I'm so confused why they picked Natasia. Can, can anyone explain that to me? What did she say in that 60 seconds that was so damning? Good luck, you guys. I was shocked. I definitely thought it was going to be Jonathan or Emily. I don't think at first glance I look like a virgin. Oh, but she's like so offended right now. <laughs> she's like questioning her entire life. She's like, is it the way I walk or something? Hey, do, do I walk like a virgin? <laughs> Everyone feels confident that you already caught them all. You can end the game now. Raise your hand if you have doubt and you would like to continue the game. See, you done f***ed up. Nobody believes that they got it right, so why'd you pick Natisha? Okay, so when you lost your virginity, how did it, how'd it go down? High school, both virgins didn't know what the hell we were doing. Same. What was the first letter of her first name? J. That was quick. How about you? Okay, I'm a late bloomer, so I lost mine at 21. Where? I worked at a movie theater, and okay. he was my coworker, so kind of scandalous. What about you? What about you? 
Uh, her name was Harmony, and how'd you guys uh, meet? MySpace. Uh huh. Likely story. MySpace. You next. Uh, I was fourteen. It lasts about two minutes. So I was sixteen. Sixteen. Lost to a girl named Stacy. Stacy. In the back of my Volvo. I was also a late bloomer. I was. I believe I was in college. And yes. how did you lose it? Like, where was it at? Uh, in my apartment slash yeah. dorm it wasn't i lived off Very questionable i lived but... off okay, campus yeah. so not a dorm jonathan quit acting like a narc you're being weird just answer the damn questions dude is sweating more than a drug mule going through customs how many people have you slept with oh gosh um body count time <laughs> <Body count. laughs> under 10 no jonathan under 10 no, I don't believe that for a second. We all know good and well you're a pussy slayer, okay? Stop being modest. This is no time for humility. All right, so rough body count. I know, it's three, because it's not that many. <laughs> Between like 30 okay. and like... 70? Somewhere around there. Did she say between 30 and 70? That's a big fucking difference. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to narrow that down a bit. Okay, the discrepancy in numbers is sus. What about you, MySpace? Uh, maybe a hundred or something. I don't know. Oh, nice. Nearly a hundred. I'm t I'm 25 years old. I'm old man. Sean, uh, I just got one question for you. Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? Oh my god. Stop I don't know that I'd buy a hundred. Look at his neck right yeah, now. Look at this. Yeah. This. I mean, yeah. What do you want to know? Is this dude flexing a hickey? I don't appreciate being flexed on anyway, but a hickey? You're 25, boy. You're too old. Sit down. Everybody knows a guy like Sean. Seriously. Yeah, bro. I totally have a girlfriend. Uh, She goes to a different school. Uh, but I totally have one, yeah. Yeah, bro, check this out. I totally got a hickey from a girl. Uh, uh, a, a, a real girl. Who I, I didn't pay at all. Bro, I've been laying down the pipe since I was 12. I've been slinging Harris around for 13 years. <laughs> So you come to this shoot with this, like, but like, it could also be a trick. Over a hundred, over hundred, over a hundred yeah. naming his genitals. Because he was playing the game so hard, I was like, maybe he, like, really did come to win to the point of giving himself a fake hickey. I think he could have staged the hickey. It's definitely possible. He's capping hard as fuck. Okay, Sean is fronting hard but I don't think he's the verge. He's too confident. Is he overcompensating? Yes. Has he slept with a hundred girls? No, but I do believe that he's confident enough that he's tricked at least a couple girls into sleeping with him. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. so, who's in a relationship? Oh, who's in a relationship? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, oh. Yeah. How long have you been together? A few months. Okay. A few months. How long is a few months? Like six Maybe. months? No like, less. Like, yeah, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. General. So I'm gone. Yeah, Jonathan, I love you. Uh, I really do. You're fucking adorable. And I don't think it's you. That's far too obvious. But you're asking for it. I would eliminate you too. <laughs> I don't know if you've noticed, every time he gets asked a question, he like questions his entire existence. <laughs> he's acted so suspicious. He's like talking in questions. Um, I think I had sex in college at the place I lived that was an apartment? Yeah, I've been dating a girl for less than six months? Like, how could you not think it's him? Jonathan, I love you, but you are terrible at this game, and you're too sweet and innocent for this world. Oh, no, like 100%. Like, <laughs> it's, it's so easy. obvious that it's like, yo, is it? If it's obvious, we have to, we have to take it. I out. think so. I didn't want to be too defensive about like, no, I'm not, I'm not a virgin just because I'm kind of like, it's okay if you are. Aw. Okay, whoever Jonathan's girlfriend is, you hold on to him, and don't you dare hurt him, I will find you. What's the craziest place you guys have had sex? Um, I want to say, like, in an elevator. Yeah. In, like, an obstacle course on, like, college campus. Jonathan, you dirty, dirty boy. I see you, homie. Uh, the bed? Ooh. The bed. That's a great one. Leaning with you never two. went outside the bed. Mm-mm. <laughs> Maybe one day, guys. Oh, okay, Emily. We got some little freaks up in here. Okay, 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 okay. Do you, do you see that face? Maybe one day, guys. Emily's down for whatever. <laughs> oh, man. 
Yeah, who could have seen that coming? Am I right? I had a different shirt. I was told that this shirt worked fine. I feel like that may have contributed, but also maybe don't judge people by the shirts that they choose to wear. I ended up kind of loving him, man. <laughs> Jonathan is a king, don't you dare say differently. Jonathan for president, 2024. So I'm not gonna show the third round, it's kind of boring. All that happens is they talk about what they like about sex and Emily subtly calls Jolie a hoe. I'd rather be in a relationship than just have sex with anyone. Good for you, but that didn't change my mind. It checks out. Fair play. And then Emily gets voted off the island to the surprise of absolutely no one. In the back of my mind, I was stereotyping them by the way that they dressed and acted. So, round four, baby. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think they're teaming up. <laughs> no, I want to ask you more questions, like and I want to ask you more questions. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, you said three in the last two weeks, but so I went to Palm Springs two weeks ago, uh -huh. and then two days ago, I had sex with someone. I think he could potentially still be the mole. All right, so ask questions. Were you religious too before you had sex? Yeah. Oh, he's religious. Damn, that's suspicious. Bars. Bars. But seriously, that is the number one reason people stay virgins. Ooh. Okay, if the mole's still in the contest, it's Emmanuel. But I don't think they are. You said you were 19 when you lost? No, 16. 16. 16. Okay. Yeah, back of the Volvo. What color was the Volvo, by the way? It was gold. It was, like it was tannish gold. gold. You mean like yellow? Like tannish. Have you never heard of the color tan? MySpace, that's a real color, you know. As far as the Volvo, did you have like padding in there or was it just no, like, man. Ooh, you were hurt just, just, to, oh. just to see. It was the uh, greatest experience. I, like it. Oh. I mean, yeah. <laughs> what, was the, what was the body part that hurt most after you finished? It was definitely my knee because it was yeah, on like the little. Right. Yeah, it's always the knee. There's nowhere to put your legs when. Never mind. <laughs> The little right. buckle. That's all correct. That's all correct right <laughs> it there. was bad business, man. I'm a big guy. I'm yeah, no. Ball. Okay, that's like, all correct. Where's your first time? Where? Yeah. It was in a bed in the guy's house that we were at, and his parents were gone. Did you say 30 to 70, 18? Yeah. Yeah, that that's suspect. She's saying a big number. She's young. I Therefore, said I believe her because if she was coming in here as the mole, she'd be like, oh, like maybe like 10. I think she's safe. And that Volvo story about your knees... That, that makes sense. Yeah. I'm like taking this so seriously right now. This is so hard, man. It's hard to decide. Because they, they give you some softballs, right? They just pitch up some softballs like Jonathan and Emily. Here you go. Round one, eliminated. Round two, eliminated. But I feel like it's not somebody super obvious like that, you know? We haven't asked you in a while. I'm a sex symbol. Okay, well, all right, he's good. There. <laughs> <laughs> we got a solid. 25, how old are you? 27. Yeah. 18 with 30. I, I don't know, bro. Like, I'm, I'm a, I like numbers, bro. Anything. I don't think he has a beard with like earrings and a tattoo and is oh, a yeah. virgin. Well, it's not Trevor. He's a total fucking alpha. Look at that beard. Damn. I rest my case. You think, Sean? He brought the, the hickey, which is probably like a bottle cap he just put on his neck. Oh, uh, that's a bottle cap, bro? <laughs> Tell me that's a bottle cap right now. I... That's, that's, that's a real hickey. <laughs> You think my hickey is fake, bro? Check this out. Does that look fake to you? That's a real hickey, okay? I'm 25 years old and I'm proud of it. He's still bragging about the hickey. Anyways, okay, so very end. Hot mess over here teams up with MySpace. Trevor teams up with Emmanuel. So it's 2v2. They keep voting. It keeps being a tie. There's been a tie. In the event of a tie, we do a revote. So there's another tie. So they decide to end the game. They think they've extracted the mole so they can end the game now. Can we just say that we're done? And the, yeah, can we, we just say we're done? Out? Yeah, I think the mole is probably out. Did they get it right? Let's find out. If the light turns green, you voted the liar out. If the light turns red, the mole is still in the game and you lose. The suspense is killing me. What, bro? It was him. Was it you? It was him. It was you, you stinky boy. <laughs> Did this man just say, you stinky boy? It was you, you stinky boy. <laughs> the fuck? Damn. No. No. All that for nothing. Damn it, Dwight. This is your fault. My back is hurting from carrying the team. Sorry, I forgive you. Oh, my God. Sorry, Trevor. Most people don't expect me to be a virgin, and unless asked, I don't say anything. Wow. I. 
I knew the religion thing was suspect. Damn it. Hey, don't judge a book by its cover. You really never know. Did she just say don't judge a book by its cover? I'm so, Dwight, can we roll that back? Didn't she just a minute ago say? In the back of my mind, I was stereotyping them by the way that they dressed and acted. So. Oh. So a lot of Whoa, that's like cash. Can you, can I have some? Get that money. I walk a sham. Oh yeah. My money walk a uh, sham. Yeah. Bring money. <laughs> it smells, it smells like, I'm just gonna... like paper. Money smells like paper. MySpace 2020. Uh, group hug, come on. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I knew if the mole was still in, it was Emmanuel, but I'm not gonna front like I knew the whole time. I didn't. He's cool as f that Volvo story was so convincing. He even knows about the knee pain when you f in a car. This dude is good. Yo, don't act like y'all didn't fall for that Volvo story. You can't fool me. When I think about like a fake sex story, I think of something horribly unbelievable. My head immediately goes to four year old virgin. And I'd be nailing her. Oh shit. She'd be like, oh, you're nailing me. Cool. You know, and like you grab a woman's breast and it's, and you, you feel it and it feels like a bag of sand. But his story was nothing like that. It was incredibly believable. Okay. Okay, Jubilee, you got me. I, I did not see that one coming. Well, I'm 0 for 1 in the Jubilee Chronicles. And honestly, if they're all going to be like this, and there's an absolute ninja like Emmanuel in the room for everyone, I'll never win. Oh my god, that was amazing. I kind of love this show now. Jubilee, if you're ever hiring, I've got some great ideas for Odd Man Out, so hit me up. My DMs are open, baby. My DMs are open. Always. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and want to watch some more Jubilee videos with me. It would really help me out. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I fucking love you forever. And you become a member of the newest, thickest army on the internet. By the way, thank you guys so much for the support and all the new subs. I cannot tell you how much it means to me. And until next time, guys, stay thick and keep those hickeys popping. I'm Fat Man Jones, and I'm out. I love you. I'll see you next time. Bye. All night, all night, you ain't call me. But it's okay, it's alright, I'm popping hobby. Can't do no right, dirty spy with that jolly. I'm rolling good, I'm feeling nice, bitch, you can stop me. All night, all night, you ain't call me.